guys, welcome back to Dawn Investments. Today's just going to be a quick uh, recap of today's trading day before the market fully closes and some of the other and some of the other swings we're looking at for the rest of the week. Um, the first one we want to go over is AMD. AMD has a strong resistance at around thirteen forty seven. But a lot of people are trading it due to its possible good earnings tomorrow at, um, I'm not sure the time, but it is, has its earnings coming up. And people are anticipating good earnings based on a couple of new, some news articles and things like that that you can do your own research on. But yeah, AMD definitely has um, a profit potential of around seven to like nine percent if you buy in at 1347 and wait for that break uh possibly due to the earnings if it's good you may see a, a, a spike in amd's price but just keep in mind that this can you know it's since it's at a resistance it can have a pretty major pullback uh especially if the earnings aren't as good as people anticipate so keep in mind so so keep that in mind and um, add AMD to your watch list. Uh, the next one we wanted to go over was the, the whole D gas and U gas situation. Um, paying attention to the whole natural gas side, of looking at that, it's been it has it's been having a pretty interesting past day. It dropped significantly um, earlier and it's been trending back up slowly, giving a lot of push to U gas. As you can see, you guys has been making this push after its big uh, drop, and it's almost back at 100. I would say here, if you haven't already bought in, wait till it breaks 175, and from there, it can trend up to around um, 115 for that for that nice profit. But I would say wait till it breaks that 105, 100 dollars, because it can also trend back down. Natural gas and oil is doing pretty good right now, so there is a chance that it can break $100, but just to be sure, I will wait. Um, overall, you guys has been doing pretty well as a stock overall, and I wouldn't put it past anyone for adding it to their watch list. Um, inversely, D gas has been downtrending ever since that big dip in the morning of natural gas, and it looks like it's still on its way down to 17, but once it's at 17, I definitely think it's primed for reverse. Um, not saying it, it'll definitely happen, but it will be prime for a reverse and it could happen. So just keep that in mind when you're trading D gas, it has still has room to decline. So if you're buying it now, make sure you just definitely wait for those signs of upper confirmation for anything. And the next, um, paying attention to JNUG has also been trending down. And because of that, conversely, uh, the UST. And JDST have been moving pretty steadily upwards. If you look at JDST, it's doing the same thing. Um, the U U.S. dollar was having some trouble. You can look at um, that news as well. Do some research into that. I won't go in depth in this video on that, but um, there's been some news behind the U.S. dollar and gold uh, specifically that's driving these stocks. And um, some news is coming out that may be driving up. JDST and DUST. So pay attention to these in the upcoming days as this can start trending upwards. It definitely has some resistances it needs to break. I would say once it breaks that 22 by 40 area, it has a nice profit. It has a profit for room. It has a nice room for profit to around $28 for around 21%. Um, from there though, I would just you know set the stop losses in set realistic goals and go in there with a plan. But yeah, as of for DUST, I would definitely keep that on watch, especially as JNUG is uh, going down currently. Another one that uh, was called out in our Discord was CVO. This one has a pretty nice chart. No significant news that I see as of recently, but it has a pretty nice chart. It's bouncing off uh, support and it seems to be trending up. It broke this 100 day EMA and it has some significant movement. Um, I would wait for this to one too, just to be 100% sure. 
um, if it continues making this trend, it could reach up to two dollars very soon, and from there, that's a definitely a nice profit. And if it breaks two, you can even go even farther. Uh, from here to around two dollars is around um, twenty eight percent. But I would just be careful, especially with these type of volatile stocks. Anything can happen. You can lose a lot of money. You can also gain a lot of money. So I'll just be careful with that. Another stock I asked about in our Discord was uh, UAN. This one has pretty observable patterns. You know, it's been moving pretty well. Um, that up down kind of pattern, and it's right now it's on its down. And I was asking if, it's, if I think it's going to go back up. Um, yes, I do think eventually it has the ability to go back up, but I wouldn't say it's a definite thing. So don't just jump in because it's low. Wait for it to you know show signs. You know, send an alert. Make sure um, you see those confirmation signs before you're jumping in. And from there, then you definitely have a nice room for profit, especially if you jump in like maybe 370. That's around 10 percent in a couple of days. But another stock I want to go over was BZUN. We, we traded this for a while and we wrote it up and sold at uh, this resistance line at 36.77 around that price point. And um, it's still been trending up. Still been turning up, but still have some room to grow. Um, but it's getting near its previous resistance at forty dollars, and from there it can trend down. So if you're not in it right now and you want to join, uh, maybe jump in after it passes its forty dollars and ninety cent mark. Uh, because before then, it is a bit risky. It has a lot of room to drop and not a lot of room to grow. So just keep that in mind if you're if you're looking at BZUN. Another stock I want to go over was uh, DRN. This is another possible swing for the week. It's in the same kind of predicament as the other stocks. It's at a bottom, and it has a lot of room to uh, shoot up. Even to this point right here, it's around uh, 7%. Right now, it's below 20. So, again, it's not showing signs of uh, it trending up yet, but it can show no signs soon, so just set your alerts appropriately. If you need help with those, you know, just ask me in the group chat, and then I'll, and I'll give you my recommendation on entry and exit points. But, um, yeah, so... It seems to be on near support. It's nice and all support, and it seems to be uh, trending up. So just watch out for that. It has a lot of room to grow. No, not much significant news that I see, but um, definitely just pay attention to this stock as it has some profit in the near future. And we're rounding up the video. Lastly, I want to talk about Apple and Amazon. A lot of people were asking about um, Apple in this uh, nice price drop, if it's uh, beneficial to get in. This one is earnings are coming up this week as well, so I will be careful here. Um, playing earnings is a risky business, but it is at a pretty low point, and Apple is you know, a reputable company, so it will trend up, back up eventually. But you just don't want to get in at a price that still is high. You don't want to... Uh, buying when it's not showing any signs of it going back up as of yet but apple is a is a good company and you should do your own research on it because it definitely has the potential and a very high chance of going back up so just watch out for that and uh, make sure you do some research on the company's fundamentals before you know buying in and lastly uh this a uh, quick amazon one i was asked about this one this one is kind of the same kind of deal but this one's been trending up pretty well as of recently um it has some interesting price targets that um also i won't go over in this video but you guys can definitely look into those and with those price targets in mind it definitely has a lot of room to grow one of them was um even to simply um 1800 as you can see here it's almost around uh 25 percent so if you're interested in Amazon, this would, wouldn't be a bad time to buy, especially since it's been on a, a consistent upward trend. But, you know, with any stock, just because, you know, it's a good stock right now, any stock can can be bad. Any, you can lose money on any stock. So just make sure you go in for a plan. You get your own research and on a trade based on, like, other people's opinions. And you should be fine. <laughs> but overall, that's really it for this video. If you have any questions, you know, just let me know or ask me in our Discord. And I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.